Panasonic has produced our favourite top-end consumer camcorders for the last year or so, with its HDC TM700, the current flagship. The HDC SD600 is a cut-down version for the more point-and-shoot oriented user. Let's find out what's been taken away. For a start, the SD600 is clearly smaller than the TM700, and this is because it lacks a number of the latter's physical features. Gone is a lens ring which makes us love Panasonic's premium consumer camcorder so much. Missing also is the bracket on the side for an accessory shoe adapter, as well as the associated mini jacks for microphone and headphone. The built-in microphone is just stereo rather than 5.1. However, the optics and sensor remain the same, so the SD600 has an identical 3MOS system, consisting of a trio of quarter-inch 3.05 megapixel CMOS chips and a Leica Dicamar lens offering a 35mm wide angle. Image stabilisation is still optical and includes Panasonic's Power OIS, which is particularly effective when shooting handheld at maximum zoom. Since the CMOS sensors have more pixels than is required for Full HD, Panasonic has followed the trend and harnessed them to provide an extra zoom factor above the 12x optical one. Called the eye zoom, this isn't quite the same as the digital zoom, since there's no loss of resolution, although a slightly smaller portion of the sensor is used, so it does affect low light performance. One of the TM700's most groundbreaking new features also remains. The SD600 has the option to shoot Full HD at 50 progressive frames a second. There's a special button to enable this mode, and a warning pops up on screen when you do, because it's much less compatible with editing software. However, unlike the TM700, the SD600 relies entirely on removable SD cards and has no flash memory built in. A 16GB card will be enough for 1 hour 20 minutes of footage at the top 50p quality mode, or 2 hours of standard Full HD at 25 frames a second. Whilst the SD600 doesn't have the same easy manual control as the TM700, it does have essentially the same comprehensive options within its menu. The LCD is a touchscreen, so it incorporates the AFAE fingertip operated system, which allows you to set focus and expose you with a single press to the screen. In intelligent auto mode, the stripper on the bottom provides one touch access to AFAE, plus other essential settings like backlight compensation, pre reg buffering, smile shutter, and tele macro. Enable manual mode, however, and options appear for setting focus, white balance, shutter and iris. You can configure the latter two parameters independently, and even add video gain on top of a fully open shutter. If you delve into the full menu, there are the usual scene modes available, plus a few fun options like time-lapse recording, although no slow-mo shooting is included. With its identical CMOS sensors and optics, the SD600 provides video of identical quality to the TM700, at least in auto mode. In good lighting, colours are saturated, but not overly vibrant. Although the quarter-inch sensors are smaller than many high-end camcorders, their three-strong number means the SD600 is also very capable as the illumination drops, maintaining colour and managing to avoid grain in quite poor lighting conditions. So the Panasonic HDC SD600 provides equally good video quality as the TM700, but without the semi-pro features. It's also up to £200 cheaper, so if you want to shoot great footage but have no Hollywood aspirations, the SD600 is another capable camcorder from Panasonic.